Welcome once again friend today we are going to learn probability from theoretical approach in previous videos we learned the probability in practical way and uh, while learning in practical way what what we had exactly done uh, we did a lot of experiments and in ex uh, in experiments we did a lot of trials right and what we observed that how many number of trials there are in which uh, the event any event uh, happened and then uh, such events are divided by the total number of the trials and then we find that uh, probability of any events in any experiments and we define something like this probability of uh, happening event E is equals to uh, you can say a uh, number of trials number of trials in which in which event this this event E happened right event in which E happened to the total divided by the total number of the total right total number of events total number of events like this we we, we find out the uh, probability in previous videos right now we're going to learn the probability in theoretical approach theoretical approach is not uh, not much more different than the this uh, practical way uh, you know sometimes uh, we often say this theoretical uh, uh, probability as a classical probability also you can say this classical probability also probability right and it's uh, not uh, not that much more different than this it's the same thing right uh, it's something like this uh, let me tell you before learning classical probability one uh, one thing I want to uh, tell you here that here whatever the experiment we are getting in question or uh, any experiments we are doing right all the experiments have equally likely uh, equally likely outcomes all the experiments have right all the experiments whatever the experiment we do experiment right in every experiment all outcomes are equally likely all outcomes are equally likely equally likely what I mean to say that something uh, suppose I have a coin uh, like uh, suppose this is my coin and uh, one more coin let me make here it's not another coin it's the same uh, coin and I'm giving one head suppose this is the head part of the coin and this is the tail part of the coin right and when I will toss this coin when I will toss this coin so probability you know uh, the possibility of getting head and tail whenever I will toss this when I will freely toss this coin the percentage of getting head and the percentage of getting tail are equal right every time I may get head I may get tail so both have the equally you know likely outcomes means getting head is exactly equals uh, to the getting tail so this is something like this you know equally likely experiment something uh, outcomes are something like this you know all outcomes are equally likely you know likely uh, so something it is something like this um, in another way if you look uh, like something suppose I have a I have a uh, box something like this okay and in that box there are uh, suppose five marbles this is aloe marble and another is green marble and another is red marble suppose and another I have white marble and another I have blue marble so if I will close my eye and if I will take out one marble out of this five marble then uh, the outcomes are different different I may get red I may get white I may get yellow I may get green or I may get blue so getting red white yellow green and blue all are equal you know I may get any one so these all have same uh, probability means uh, these all have the same uh, you can say same percentage or uh, means getting these all outcomes any outcomes uh, red or white or yellow or green or blue whatever you are getting it, they, they all have the same right and how much that is exactly that probability will be finding here so that about that we'll be talking later so in in this kinds of uh, experiments actually we use this uh, 
uh, probability we, we learned this probability in this kinds of uh, experiments so from this time onward any experiment we do in this uh, probability chapter we assume that every experiments have equally likely outcomes means all outcomes are equally likely okay so uh, here we define the probability something like uh, suppose probability of event E happening is equals to uh, you can say number of uh, outcomes favorable to event E right number of outcomes number of my handwriting is really bad <laughs> my number of uh, number of outcomes favorable favorable to event E to the total possible outcome right total total possible outcome possible outcome right uh, here this uh, if you look just like uh, tossing a coin in this experiment let's see uh, when I will toss a coin I may get head I may get tail so the total possible outcomes are two here I may get head I may get tail right and uh, if I need to find out the probability of uh, getting head then the favorable events right total favorable outcomes is H only when I will toss a coin I may get head or I may get tail but if I need to find out the probability of uh, of a head, of head, then favorable outcome to head is only one, right? Suppose uh, here, uh, if I have to find out the probability of head, getting head, then number of outcomes favorable to head, favorable to head, right? Favorable to head, to the total possible outcome, right? So the total. Uh, uh, outcomes favorable to head is only one here because when I toss a coin I get only two uh, two things two outcomes I get one I get head or a another I will get tail so anything I will get uh, anything it, it it may happen so the uh, out of these two outcomes supporting right uh, which one is supporting me to find out the probability of head this head part is supporting me and there is only one such supporting thing or you can say such favorable thing right so the probability of getting head will be 1 to the total possible outcomes and here total possible outcomes is 2 right and this is the probability of getting head exactly and if you write in point then decimal form then it will be 0 0.5 and if you want to write in uh, something like a percentage then it will be 50 percent so probably we um, um, sorry <laughs> most of the time we used to write in fraction uh, or you can say yeah in ratio we used to write so now uh, if you look at this experiment uh, when we had the five balls in a bo uh, in a basket or in a ball you can say here if you talk mm, probability of having white ball if, if you want to find the probability probability of white ball then uh, what will happen number of outcomes favorable to E so here uh, if I'll just uh, if I'll just insert my hand without watching this uh, this bag and if I'll just keep out one ball or one marble you can say then I may get yellow I may get red I may get white I may get green I may get this blue anything I, I can get there is no surety that I will get the white or, or red no surety so here this experiment is uh, has you know equally likely outcomes so all outcomes are equally likely but to find the probability we need to find out the favorable to our event and our event is white getting white is our favorable event so how many events there are that is supporting to the white there is only one ball that is supporting to the white so one and total possible outcomes so total possible outcomes how many I may get white I may get red I may get yellow I may get green or I may get blue so one two three four five there are five possible outcomes so out of these five possible outcomes only one possible outcome is uh, sorry, only one outcome is supporting me or favorable uh, favorable me me means here white ball right so this is our probability of getting white ball one by five or if you write in decimal form it will be something 0 0.2 and in percentage if you go it will be 20 percent so like this you can find out easily uh, you can find out the probability for the red for the green or for any any you can suppose right so like this we used to uh, 
find out the probability in theoretical approach and we'll be doing a lot uh, here one by one so I don't want to make a, a lengthy video so let me quit it and we'll be meeting in next video bye bye